Hi, everybody. Um, several people have requested um, about the uh, Smith organ that I just uh, restored, that they'd like to see how the um, roll top lid works. And some others would like to hear the uh, reeds played individually so they could hear you know, the individual rank. So um, <clears throat> try to please everybody. So here we go, plus uh, one of my innovations. Let's take a look. And you'll see as the cover goes up, uh, with it also flips up the uh, music rack and exposes the, the uh, grill cloth behind it. There. Now we'll take a view from the back. So, there you have it. And just a full uh, view of the whole organ there. Uh, well, luckily with some light shining on it, that's pretty good today. Okay, let's get into the sounds of the reeds. And so a total of uh, 13 stops, um, four banks of reeds uh, complete plus a uh, sub bass. Has, uh, I think it has a really great sound. Um, the main fundamental uh, eight foot pitch is located in the back <clears throat> between uh, the complete uh, bass and treble. And this is what that would sound like. brighter we can add the four foot rank which extends the complete front set of reeds and we get this then we have an interesting uh, celeste stop here because this celeste actually brings on two sets of reeds at the same time and uh, gets kind of you know the, the usual nice celeste sound moving on uh, in the treble I guess we might as well there is a 16 foot sound also. Then in the bass, other than the, the uh, regular uh, four foot, there's another type of four foot, uh, a secondary sound that's a little more gentle. Here's the, uh, the regular one. And here's the more gentle one. It still gives a nice effect when this is combined with the other stops and then we end up with a two foot okay and that's where the break point is between the F and the F sharp and then we have a sub bass now I have given you the uh, eight and four foot sounds combined now I'm going to give you the eight four and sixteen up there and then kind of complete it to make a nice full organ sound down here. Um, the the eight foot, two four foots, and the two foot. And then if we add the uh, contrabass. If we add the coupler, that's going to double everything. The most interesting <coughs> with, with these uh, reed organs, I find, is when you add the celeste, it almost acts like a mixture would act in a pipe organ. It doubles the sound, but it gives kind of a nice clarification somehow, and at least I think so. We'll see what you think. Now the tremulant in this uh, particular organ is it's really quite wild, but um, it's a little bit on the haunted side. It seems to want to work when it feels like it. Well, let's see what it's going to do this time. 
Um, it's actually quite funny. I, I won't ever have use for it, but let's see if I can get it to work. It's being stubborn. typical beater type uh, tremulant and so uh, there you have it for the individual sounds and now for a modification of my own invention having to do with the uh, grand knee swell lever that you know when you swing that over it brings on full organ so if you're just playing on you know something soft and you suddenly need wham something loud comes in uh, really handy what I've done with this is I've made sure to have it graduated so that it goes from soft to louder to louder to louder in a specific way that would be good for my own type of playing. Um, I'll give you a demonstration as best I can. Um, just starting off with, the, let me move back here a little bit, um, with, the, with the main eight foot uh, stop, not sounding too loud. Now if I nudge that pedal just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, it's going to begin to bring on the four foot stop, but I'm going to get it before it hits four foot, I'm going to get it so there's a waver, a nice shimmer effect. Here we go. And lo and behold, a harp aeolian. Okay, we can move that just a tiny bit further and we'll get the straight eight and four foot sound. Let's make, let me get it right there. There, I got it. If I move it a tiny bit more, it's going to bring on the 16 foot. tiny bit further is going to bring on the uh, sub bass but not too loud so it'll balance <clears throat> So doing this, rather than having the lifters do everything at once the way Smith, uh, uh, you know, planned it, I've just modified it for my own uh, playing use. I'm kind of stuffed up with uh, allergies or some darn thing right now. Um, uh, anyway, uh, it's quite a remarkable organ, and I really love it. Um, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. And uh, I think, actually, I probably should shut this camera off. <laughs>